I don't know that the role of an architect is to, you know, make social change through a domestic environment. Um, so I, I won't say that, but we do feel strongly that a house can start to inform the way one lives their life and making them more attuned to the natural environment um, and the world in which we live in, which is, you could say, in a state of crisis for environmental and um, economic reasons. So as you can see today, we got some of the walls put up. Um, Steve and Neil were able to snap the lines to put the walls in place last week after we got the radiant floor and the PEX 2 blade. So this is a really big deal for us. Uh, we don't have an official groundbreaking as we're not breaking any ground, but we get a wall raising. So you actually get to see the house really come to life. Just to give you an idea, sort of the house is starting to take shape. Uh, there will be another wall that goes in here eventually, which separates the refrigerator uh, from what this wider area is going to be, which is the entertainment area. And uh, as we move down here, there will be another wing wall in the center. Uh, area to my left here is going to be uh, sort of part of the bedroom, kind of a writing desk area. There will be another center partition right here, and then this area you see that uh, looks like a hole in the floor, that's eventually going to be the shower pan, so that I'd be standing kind of in the bathroom area. Here. Uh, we're out here today, it's February 5th, nice day for Ohio, uh, about 15 degrees, sun shining, and uh, today's a big day, we're starting to uh, put up the roof joists, um, that's significant because it sort of takes the, uh, takes the deck and the walls and then uh, by putting on it makes it an enclosed space so you can really start to see the house taking shape. Uh, the product we're using is kind of unique. Um, it's an oriented uh, strand board uh, eye joist product and uh, it's different than uh, typical wood in several ways. Number one, uh, it's more like an I-beam shape uh, which uh, these compared to conventional lumber are much stronger. Uh, the uh, sections can come uh, in any depth. Uh, these happen to be uh, 14 inches deep and they can come in uh, lengths. Ours are about uh, 22 feet, just over 22 feet. Um, it's kind of more difficult to get with a solid wood product and uh, solid wood products you're uh, going to be dealing with uh, you know, cupping and twisting and bowing of the wood so these are nice and straight. They're uh, comparatively lightweight so uh, we've got our first one in. Uh, been easy to install so far and uh, hopefully the rest of the day we'll uh, finish out this center section. this large wall and roof section. Um, we're doing it this way because the house is being broken up into three sections for transportation and we have to make each section structurally independent on its own. So uh, normally you would have uh, an exterior envelope that would be wrapped in plywood and that would hold it uh, structurally, hold it rigid, rigidly together. Here we have three independent uh, exterior envelopes. So. We're going to kind of sandwich this uh, wall section, roof joists and parapet, sheath it, stand it up, and sandwich it up against the one that's built and up already. How about we put a couple blocks there, raise it up on the blocks, that way we're up, Yeah. we don't have to fight with it. So advanced framing is uh, sort of a system of techniques that reduce the amount of wood you would use to frame a house. 
uh, while at the same time increasing efficiency. So, say in a traditional home like the home I live in, built in you know, the 1920s, you're going to have two by four studs at about 16 inches on center. And what we've done in this house, we've got two by six studs, and they're spaced at 24 inches on center. And so what that widened spacing does is several things. Uh, so number one, it saves material because you're uh, spacing your studs at 24 rather than 16. Uh, number two, the uh, increased depth um, of the framing uh, allows a larger cavity for insulation, so you're certainly saving in terms of energy there. In keeping with uh, sort of saving wood and reducing thermal bridging, we use two by four uh, blocking instead um, of uh, full depth two by six, and what that does is it makes a continuous cavity here for the insulation, so we're elim eliminating some thermal bridging there. And then up at the top, you can see that our joists are directly bearing on the studs, which eliminates the need for a traditional double top plate that you would find in a, in a typical home. One thing uh, we've been doing above uh, windows is we've been using these uh, metal brackets, uh, we call them header hangers. And what that does is uh, it eliminates uh, the need for a traditional uh, cripple stud, so you're, you start to uh, reduce uh, the amount of uh, wood that you're using in your framing. And so just to show these in place here, uh, essentially this, this bracket here just kind of slides up in the wall. That's what holds up your header uh, above. I think what surprised me up to this point, um, I'm actually very surprised at how smoothly things have run thus far and I'm very confident that um, we should be able to continue on schedule without hitting any major snags. Um, the only difficult part is, is trying to balance the work in between the field and, and I guess in between the studio where we're actually designing since this is a fast track pro process. Um, some things are more figured out than others. So the more time we spend out here building, the less time we're, we spend um, in the studio figuring out uh, you know, materials we haven't thought about, uh, installation methods we haven't thought about, things like that. Um, and we, we, we don't want to lose scope of our original design intent um, because on a fast track project too, uh, I guess you could tend to get caught up in the building and, and forget about what the big idea was to start with. So we, 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 I think we need to refocus um, once we finish this rough framing, step back, refocus, get back into the design, design portion uh, and see where it goes from there.